Can I just ask one point of inquiry? Um, are we going to be awarded points for who chugs the drink fastest? Yes. Whoa. Welcome to Bottle Service at Home. I am here. I'm not at home. I'm in the wine room at Food & Wine. These are actual bottles of wine. This is not some kind of crazy backdrop. But today, we're not talking about wine. We're going to talk about tequila and mezquila. If you don't know what mezquila is, don't worry about it because you're going to find out. And I am super, super psyched to say that I am talking with Sammy Hagar and Guy Fieri. Two guys I've followed for a long time. You guys are up in Montana, like the wilds of Montana in the mountains somewhere at the moment, right? They told us they were taking us somewhere, and it looks like Montana to me, but you know, it could be Wyoming or it could be Utah. It's, we just know that it's a lot of snow, and it's awesome. And you've got tequila. And, and speaking of which, so we're going to do some like quick like fun pairings with some of your favorite foods. But first off, there are a billion tequilas out there. So what sets this one apart from the massive wash of tequila that's out there in the world? Well, let me start off so I can introduce the godfather of tequila, brought to us from the agave gods. You know, Sammy was doing real deal celebrity booze before it was a cool thing to do. 20 years ago, he did Cabo Wabo, and as we know, we all loved it. I sold it in my restaurants. I sold out of it. And Sammy got out of it, went into the rum business, and I said, if you ever get in the tequila business again, please give me a call. And that's how it started. I thought, what a perfect thing. He's got a palate. You need guys that can taste it and tell you, no, this needs more of this or this needs more of that. He tastes food 20 hours a day. You know, whether he spits it out or swallows it, he's always tasting things. He's come up with some unique drinks that blow me out of the water. You know, we've both been very successful in what we've done in our career, other careers, and when it came to this, we wanted to make sure, sure that something that he's got tattooed on his arm is going to be as real deal as the music he makes and the food I cook. And you know, our, our distiller is you know third generation, started 1937. We're roasting this for 12 hours. It gets a double roast. So what makes our tequila different is our plants are as mature as we can do it in this day and age. That green part on the stems is bitter. It's just like eating the rind on an orange. So we cut it all off. We, we lose 30% of our product. There's so many ways to cut corners in the tequila business, and you're right, there are millions of tequilas out there, but this is a traditional, old world, old style, old school. And that's the only difference, and then, you know, Guy and I will drink it. <laughs> Let's talk about the drinks. I mean, this first one's a Damiana margarita. This is a Sammy special. You know, I, we all know Sammy for the, being the rock star, but he's also a phenomenal chef. And, and really a great mixologist. And so I, I gotta let him take the lead. So Damiana comes from Baja. It just adds a little twist of flavor to you. And then just regular lime. And, and uh, I like a squeeze of orange. And you got the blood orange in there. It's great because it's not too sweet. This was an intense blood orange. I mean, this is a lot of color out of one half an orange, but yeah. it's a gorgeous drink. This is uh, without the blood orange. We're just using a um, regular lime and a little orange and Damiana. We've got some hot peanuts. Cacahuates. So you have a peanut inside and then kind of this hard fried shell on the outside. And what's so nice about this is you get that warmth and that spice kind of wakes your palate up. Oh yeah. And then you go get a little of the sweetness and a little bit of the lime. Refreshes every time. And the citrus and the and the and the little bit of heat in the peanuts is just a great combination. It's, so it's good. really cool. Tequila now is such a universal liquor. It plays so well. Sammy and I were talking about it. Santo, we have we should have a t-shirt that says Santo plays well with others. It's such a dominating force of flavor, but you can make so many spokes off of it of different styles of flavor from sweet to heat to savory to dessert. I mean, it just, it goes across the plains. If you try a margarita right. with a great salad and, and use a white vinegar mm -hmm. or a, a citrus vinaigrette with that drink right there and, and there's some croutons in there, man, you, you you think you died and went to Italy or so I'm Mexico start or where, someone. If he keeps talking chef stuff, I'm going to make an album. <laughs> a ukulele or an electric banjo. <laughs> we figured out that, that Sammy can cook, but Sammy, can Guy sing? Well, a little bit. And he, he can rap more than sing, and he can actually play drums. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> Thank no you, Sammy. time right. to practice. <laughs> Dodge that one. So this next drink is yours, Guy. I'm not saying this because it's named after me. I'm not saying it because it's got my barbecue sauce. I'm saying it because it's the truth. It's made with the mezquila. If you haven't had it, this is a great way to break into it. Mezquila is half mezcal and half tequila. Uh, a lot of people love mezcal, and Guy and I got together, and we, he said, I, I don't like mezcal that much by itself. It's too smoky. I said, I agree. So we just decided to 
blend it with tequila, but we blended it at the distillery, so it's done special, so it's mesquila. Only one in the world. Yeah, the, very, the world's first mesquila. What we're talking about is we're talking about taking the mesquila and we're talking about just a touch of the barbecue sauce, you know, a little bit of the lime juice, the smoky funk, and here's what I want, sausage pepperoni stick to go along with it. Cuts through the fat in it, yeah. it plays to the smoke of it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, I can already taste this before I tasted it. The building cocktails is a lot more like cooking. It's a you know it's a it's that balancing act. And it's layering. You kind of tantalize the taste buds. You kind of wake everybody up and like, okay, what's coming? For a, a family dinner at one point, I was grilling outside and I was drinking margaritas while I was grilling and I was drinking margaritas and I was drinking margaritas and I was drinking margaritas and I woke up the next morning. My hands are like in incredible pain. And basically I grilled my hands without thinking about it because I was like <laughs> too close well, to the flame. I think we've all done yeah. it. I'll give you a great rib recipe. And it's one of Sammy's favorite. Matter of fact, he had it on my birthday. Next time you're doing your ribs, really good kosher salt, fresh cracked yeah. black pepper all over those ribs. Yeah. Cook them how you like to cook them. Then when they're just coming off, either take some of that fantastic Santo Margarita, pour it over the top The of whole it. thing. You call me after you try that recipe. It's so simple. Okay. It just works. But that's, 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 that's the beauty. Okay, now let's talk about this straight up Blanco. Uh, just smell it. Uh. When I serve this to people, people will look at us the first time we hand it to them and they go, no salt, no lime. And I'm like, that's like pre-salting or pre-seasoning your food when the plate's in front of you at the table. And just go ahead and take a sip of this. It's smooth, it's creamy, mm -hmm. it's fruity. Fruity as hell. And it doesn't have that burning <laughs> aftertaste. I've had people look at me and go, is it, it's tequila? It's, it's also got that, I mean, which is what you get from 100% agave tequilas. It's got that little vegetal agave note. It's almost like cucumber. I mean, creamy is also a great word for this. I mean, it is, it does just slide by. This is pure. This is done right. Talk about the great snacks to pair it with. A little of the smoked Gouda. So now you coat your tongue with that fat and that richness, and then you come in with this delicious, almost palate cleansing of the Blanco. Every sip is the first time you've had that sip. I want to say this is kind of a genius pairing because it's 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 really simple and it's really off the wall. You would never guess this. Well, I think there's a lot of things about the, the world of Santo that you wouldn't get. You wouldn't guess that anybody would come out with a mesquila or come up with the idea in the middle of the night and get up and write it down. <laughs> um, or the people would wait uh, to get a Blanco and then wait again to get the Reposado from the same Blanco. But ladies, I hope they get a chance to enjoy it with their family. It's a great conversation piece. It mixes well. We have fantastic yeah. uh, recipes on our website. And, uh, you know, enjoy these three. Let them become part of your repertoire and get ready because Añejo coming out ne hopefully next year. Yeah. But uh, this is the newest yeah. member of the family, the Reposado. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed the pairings. I knew they were gonna be a little different, but I'm glad it worked. Well, cheers, you guys. I wanna drink wine with you. Guy will cook for us and we you and I. We wanna hang out in that room. We wanna get locked in that room for the week. Cheers. Best to you and your family, thank you.